what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're we'll playing final fantasy 16 again and this is part three of me making it so if you enjoy this make sure you like subscribe and let's get started so in the last part we fought Benedictata. Benedictata. Uh, i think i'm gonna have to fix my camera and go later Oh, that's just pretty cool. One second. There you go. Okay, I think I'm gonna save up so I can get this one. Okay, nah, that's good. Yay, we leveled up. Now I'm level 16. Sure. 
That's actually nice. When I get enough, I'll upgrade. Trying to get yourself killed. It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do things by half, do you? This way. I saw the new music video by Kendrick. Then they not like us. And honestly, it's pretty fire. You or him who freed the bears? Who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody half of it, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing my job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. to the coastal road. Oh. At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Oh. A good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't appraise <laughs> our work. Stay away! <laughs> it's all right. Adolphus. My punishment for not listening to you. She's pissed. 
Oh, she's pissed. Sid. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. She can't control it. <laughs> if Garuda is in stock, that vortex will swallow this whole forest and us along with it. And I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. Well, I should have gone with Gav. Well, we gotta stop that tornado. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. <sighs> And good opportunity to level up. No holding back. You know what to do. Get him, boy. Sit on the table. Over here. You know what to do, boy. Let's just focus on the main battle.
There. Wait! Clive. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Look out! It! I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! Awakening. Okay. Where did he go? I'm not here for you, Garuda. That's been a dictator. There he is. I found you. You called me. Why? Okay, not my favorite.
wait for the purpose time, wait for the purpose time. There you go. Yeah. What? Infert. My favorite. Infert. Efrit. Uh, how do you say it? How do you say it? Efrit? Infert? I, I don't know. But although I'm gonna be. I'm gonna turn to something cool. That's fine. Mm hmm okay. Uh -huh. Rage attack. Alright.
Let's see what she's gonna do. God, this battle is so cool! Yeah.
Now we just go to level 17. Let's see what this is. You're gonna turn into wood. Hey, he's God. He, I get it, cause Hercules' dad is Zeus, god of thunder. So, yeah. is your problem Jason it was inside you all along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. Why did you have to listen to him? Banner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? Sometime later. Shit. 
king is bold or desperate. Wait. Will you engage him personally, your highness? Is that Joshua? Of course. Has he been alive the whole time? Grigor's breath fill your wings. No, no, it can't be Joshua. Because Joshua has the power of the Phoenix. And that's not a Phoenix. Reform the cohorts. At once. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The Capital? What of my father? Is His he... radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No worry, it's not gonna show his butt or his penis. Ah, you're awake. Yeah, just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it now. Please. Please. Ah! <laughs> If you're done being crazy, you can come back. I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. 
Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll uh, see you in the hall. That's just messed up. One second guys I gotta go check something okay my mom sent me a message and she was telling me how many days left until she was telling me if I want to go Switzerland or not and I'm still and I'm still thinking about it because I really don't want to have another boring day wait, wait, wait. I thought she, I thought that guy was dead And what do you want? I want a new weapon. Going purse weighing you down. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finished, are you? Well, so will it be? Ooh. Not bad, if I do say so myself. It'd last you a good while. Anything else? No, I think I'm good. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, if you'll have a bit of fight left in you, then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. According to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone through a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Actually, no. Actually. Yes? What? Coin purse weighing you down? me blind you know you'll not find a better price than that it'd better I'll be here
Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. And then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Okay, at the 24th, she said she's going to go. So I only have 19 days left until I think. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the game. If I finish it, then I'll go, okay? So that's why I'm going to upload two videos in one day. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. I'm gonna upload two videos in one day, and each video is gonna be two hours long. No buts about it. And maybe one might be three hours. Hunter and the hunted. Fetch. I want a dog like that. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Yeah, yeah, I leveled up. Now I'm level 18. It's queso. Thanks, Solo. Yeah. 
right to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Wow, this game looks beautiful. I think this might be my favorite game I played this year. And I already know what's been my favorite game I played this year. And that is seven, that's Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And Half-Life 2. Which now, which now has been my favorite game of all time. Look, another queso. You can pet the dog.
Who's there? This one's a dessert. Take his head. Out of my way. You made your choice. Wake wind. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on. There he is. Don't let him escape. Dude. Kill the deserter. Thank you. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> The one goes up, must come down. Thank you. Bloody time wasted. Come on, let's finish him off. Come 
Bastards! What? There. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. Aye. Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. Mm-hmm. You killed your own brother. We weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all... You swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. Wait, isn't we'll that in area in a day or two? Isn't that Joshua? Back to where it all began. Yep. I'd say that's Joshua. Because he has the power of a phoenix. Or fire. Uh Yeah. He must be stopped. I knew it. It's 
Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? <laughs> so? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Let's go see your girlfriend. I was trying to take a thumbnail shot. You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Paya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it. I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders, the Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Good man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. 
What did that mean? What did he mean? Exactly. Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I. <laughs> All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can leave. Well, so will it be? Let me see what sword I was trying to get. Make it quick. So what it be? Anything else? No, I'm keeping this one. What do you want? To say farewell, we're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know that you don't come here for conversation. Rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? 
ready. But damn it. The game is 37, 37 and a half hours. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I'll see if I can get a good photo of Joe, so I can use that as my I thumbnail. Need to keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly, I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. The Imperial Provence. We should press on. Damn it. Next time. Homecoming. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fuse of this. Explain why there's a So in the game, I'm not going to do any side missions. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. What now? Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical, a bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Look, what do you want? Better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Sure. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way.
Damn, this guy's faster than Sonic. Here we are. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of them. You the stable master. I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I've got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. There you go. You barely have to step out your front door. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Alright, so this is how far I gotten from the game last time. And now we're gonna do it again. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. <sighs> Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Avoid blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. 
Alright, quest. Alright, this is a side. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Very good to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brad. Get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Careful! There he is. Hold on, we're coming! <sighs> That's enough. Dapple, stay down. It's over. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? Supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. Hmm. Oh, this is just a fast travel. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to East Pool repaired soon. Well, thank the founder for that. <sighs> it was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Okay. We'd be delighted. 
Quest complete. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? A flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, the beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. It was good, honest work building that aqueduct. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Nice Don't fresh be cuts, shy. fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. I just want to check something real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I was checking how many hours left I have of Final Fantasy, and I have 25 hours left until I finish the game. Then bear his fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? No. <laughs> Flames to me! <laughs>
I'm not gonna fire chocobos. It's named after my cat. I am such an addict. I really love playing video games so much. I have a big problem. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. Say, Grieger, go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please, follow me. I... I never want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I'll beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left.
Paris has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay guys, I'm back from the bathroom and I also went to the kitchen and got me a snack. I got me cereal. Cheerios. The body is petrified. Till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Oh. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Well, that was sudden. had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. Oh, finally. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right.
Knight said, it really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Hmm. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. Oh. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. There it is. There you go. That's my thumbnail shot for the next part. And I already know my thumbnail for this part. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to just save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Holding on, okay. I hear the levees are due to go up again. And it's fixed. <coughs> <laughs> Martha said the blight had spread even further south. 
pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Hey, people. No, thank you. The broken hilt. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. <laughs> I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seems a very different place now. Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. 
I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. Yeah, pretty much. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. It's not your fault. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. What is that red dot? <clears throat> it was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. Okay, this one actually looks cool as hell. me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others then why the hell am I still breathing I ask myself the same when I thought 
hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. All right, this one looks good. I feel like Final Fantasy has a good photos. I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon okay i'm actually gonna pause this one for a bit hold on i just gotta go do something real quick and i'm back my cheerio fell on the floor so uh, i can't eat it because my floor is dirty i don't know how long i cleaned it for but i'm not saying my whole house is dirty i said a prayer to metia and that prayer was answered Ah! You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Kiss! 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 Damn it. We should get some rest. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Ho ho ho! That's actually nice. Elwyn became Archduke. Our families would often summer together. Can I get a new sword? Sweet. Brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well. I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. All right, I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you for watching. Do not. We rode to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be in a few minutes. Bye bye.